Teams all across Michigan are fueling the growing prominence of women's roller derby, and the Upper Peninsula is following suit. In Marquette, the 17 jammers and blockers who make up the roster of the Dead River Derby team are rolling on a wave of popularity. No other contact sport has seen such exclusive enthusiasm amongst women. It also happens to be one of the fastest growing sports in the world. Because of the gender barriers the sport breaks down, it attracts a niche culture that celebrates a modern day progressive version of the female athlete. It takes uh, a certain type of person to be able to put eight wheels on your feet and skate as fast as you can while other people are trying to hit you and knock you down. <laughs> Uh, but it's also it's also like a sisterhood. It, you instantly, as soon as you join roller derby, you have an infinite number of new friends all over the world. The skaters sport a unique pride in their independence from the usual male-dominated sports arena, although men's teams are becoming more and more popular. And the more and more it gets popular, the more it's integrated in with women's roller derby, which is... A little bit of a controversial issue because we do like the empowerment that roller derby gives to women and um, there are already so many male dominated sports that it sometimes people get a little bent about that but uh, for the most part everybody's pretty supportive. Dead River Derby has their second home bout tomorrow at Lakeview Arena. It starts at 7 against the Escanaba Roland Hellcats.